Yeah. I was contacted by uh, Narwhal uh, with the request to review their latest pen. This is a uh, Schaukel, but you may call it Schoolkill if you so prefer. Uh, this is a 2022 limited edition finish called Dragonet Sapphire. And it is a very pretty finish. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, it's uh, limited to 2,000 pens. It has rose gold trims, number six nib, fine medium broad, and 1.1 millimeter stub. And it's um, it's a piston filler. And it is a wonderful and wonderfully designed piston. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Now, I think it's a great pen. I'm going to cover the parts of the pen. I'll do a writing sample and I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Spoiler alert, I like a lot about it. So let's see. Okay, let's talk at this narwhal. This is the uh, school kill. Sorry, that was me taking a sip of tea. Um, or schuilkill in Dutch. Um, comes with this manual. This was folded simply because of the way it was sent, don't worry about it. Uh, has filling instructions and all that stuff. Uh, nice, simple, clean. I love it. Then we have the box. Uh, the box has a narwhal on it. I mean, yeah. Uh, it flips around in a very attractive manner if you have a nice smooth surface. Uh, narwhal, I like the way they, they did this with the coloring the logo. I just think it looks cool. And it pulls out and then you see two things. A slot for the pen. Here is the actual pen. And here is a little wrench, which I think is very nice because that means you can disassemble the piston. You get everything you need to disassemble the piston, which is always nice for user maintenance. Okay, this is a limited edition pen. There are 2,000 of these in this Dragonet Sapphire color. It has rose gold trims, and I'm going to talk a bit more about that after I've shown you this pen right beside a Pilot Metropolitan. Uh, nice size of pen. Not too huge, not too small, not too girthy. I think this is a size that works very well for many people. Okay, let's cover the parts of this pen. We have this rose gold finial, which I think is quite nice. We have the nice clip. I love this shape. Uh, they, they've gone for a nautical theme, and I think this is working well. Uh, same thing on this, nicely engraved. It's almost a bit like scrimshaw, right? Um, center band, also rose gold, uh, and then we have this rose gold ring at the end. Uh, I pointed out in a previous review I had a, another Schalkel where this uh, ring came off. This one is tight as something that's really tight. I don't what what metaphor do you use there? Uh, so it's it's good. That's great. And it's also nicely rounded. It sticks out a little bit, but it's nicely rounded, so it feels high quality. I really like that. Um, that's what we have on the pen. Uh, it's a nice material, dark, but I, I really like the the swirls, the colors on this. And you have an ink window, which you can see even when the pen is capped. I'm just trying to get the ink to the bottom so you can see. There's a nice clear ink window. Great. Allows you to see how much ink you have, given that it is a true piston filler, right? Otherwise you have no idea how much ink you have left. Okay, the pen unscrews. And then we have this nice number six nib. It is engraved and it's actual engraving, not laser engraving. So that's always bonus points. With a narwhal, it has some scroll work and, and that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I, yeah, this is a medium nib. I was just double checking because I was suddenly in doubt. We have a flat plastic feed, which is quite nice. And a section that tapers down, flares out a little bit. And I didn't show you how springy the clip was, I think, but it's nice and springy without being too tight. If you wish, you could post this pen. It posts securely on the piston turning knob, so be careful you don't accidentally turn this because ink will come out, right? But you can if you want to. It becomes a big pen that way, but some people love uh, to post anything they have. As I said, special, sorry, limited edition for 2022, and there are 2,000 of these pens. Uh, nibs you can get in fine, medium, broad, or 1.1 stub, stainless steel, and that's all there's to it. So I think what we need to see is how this pen writes. And as I'm grabbing a sheet of paper, if you would like to see a disassembly line on this pen, 
uh, I can do that. I think I just stick in the wrench and take out the piston, but you know, some people find those videos very interesting, so let me know if you want that. Okay, here we go. This is the narwhal, narwhal, wall, right? Now I suddenly had that, is it, yeah, no, narwhal, the, uh, so, sorry, school kill, school kill in English, and uh, this is the dragonet, a zephyr, I thought it would be fun to say it with a Z, sorry. Uh, and this is uh, La Bombe Blue. Thought that would be a fun match for the pen. Okay, uh, what I really like is that this is a nice medium. I, I found that, that some pens in this price segment only come with fine nibs, give you no option, uh, and that sometimes the medium nibs on those pens are really fine. In this case, I think you get a true medium. Nice, works well. Fast writing, as you can see, the feed keeps up really well with that very fast writing, so I think that's a nice and good sign. Wetness, it's certainly a nicely tuned nib, not too wet, not too dry, works very well in my mind, so I like this, and it's also, by the way, a nice and smooth writer. There is little feedback, I feel, which is impressive for a $60 pen, I think. Line variation. It's a fairly stiff nib, and it's not advertised as flex, so I'd be a little careful pushing this too far. Shouldn't really push it anyway, but I mean, some people really like that, that's why I always do it. Okay, reverse writing. Possible and it turns this fine nib into, sorry, this medium nib into a fine, if that is what you like. Awesome. Okay, I think that is approximately what I had to say. Nice, smooth writer, not too wet, not too dry, nicely tuned, cool ink window. Um, I think we need to discuss what I like and what I don't like about this pen. Let's do that next. Likes and dislikes. I find an attractive pen, and what I find interesting about uh, Narwhal, I have seen their original pens, and I've seen this pen. They keep refining, and I think it's Marco Pierre White's quote, he, someone else may have said it before him, but I've, I've, I've read it in his book first. We live in an age of refinement, not invention. So. I think that continuous refinement is the quality of a great company. I remember the previous incarnation of the Schalkel that I reviewed, I undid the, or unscrewed the, the turning knob, and this little metal ring came off. It was just loose, right? But now, perfectly stuck. It's a small refinement, but it's something that matters. Overall, the pen feels smooth. Everything is nicely rounded off. Nothing is sharp, nothing stands out. I like that. It has an ink window, immediately shows you how much ink you have. The original pens did not, but these do. All right? So again, it's refinement. The wonderful rose gold trims look cool. They look cool. They go well with the dark blue. They match well. I think they make for a very nice pen. This center band is really cool. It has a sort of old nautical feel to it, which is kind of the theme the company goes for. It works. It's pleasant to use. It's comfortable to hold. I love it. And on top of that, it's relatively affordable. These pens are not super expensive at $60. I know there are cheaper pens out there, but you get a piston filled pen, you get a nice nib, you get the tool to disassemble it. I don't think that's a terrible deal, right? So I like all of the... Ooh. <coughs> I tried to stop it, but I couldn't. And I, so it's a cool pen, excuse me. Uh, it's a cool pen, I love it. I think it has a lot going for it. I think it's a really, really nice pen. Beautiful material, well made. I'm sorry, there's nothing about this that stands out to me as a design flaw or something that doesn't work. So, get one now. These are my final words. 
I hope this was useful. Let me know what you think. Let me know how you like the material, what you think of this pen. And, uh, I hope this was useful. Very kind thank you to Narwhal for sending me the pen. I appreciate it. And I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.